Hey, everybody. I just wanted to give you a clinical pearl about a patient of mine who was a runner who came to me to see me for a foot issue and she started to leak. She developed some incontinence while running. I am not a women's health therapist per se, but I do see a lot of women with pelvic girdle pain and obviously other sports, uh, sports injuries. She had a foot issue many, many years, for many years, and it flared up because she started running again after she gave birth. So she's on her second child. She's postpartum about six to seven months, I believe. She has a history. She leaked after her first child and also pre-having children. So before she had kids, she leaked. And she had therapy and, and things like that and, and primarily working on strengthening the pelvic floor. And it helped intermittently. Uh, but it didn't really take the leaking away. She was able to control it a bit better, as she said. So when I watched her run, I noticed that she had really poor control in her thorax. Her foot was fine, but she had a lot of issues in the thorax that would lead me to believe that it could be a potential cause for, for leaking. And, and so the thorax is your, your, your rib cage <laughs> uh, where house, houses all the viscera. It's, it's uh, also in your back, your thorax, your thoracic spine. So your neck is your cervical spine, your thorax, thoracic spine, and then your low back is your lumbar spine. So she had a lot of poor control there which means that when she was running, you could see her, her upper body, just too much mobility for a runner. She was kind of bouncing all over the place. So to make a long story short, what we ended up doing, in addition to changing her strategy while she ran, she, got to, she had to get more forward anyway. A lot of it has to do with the, the intra-abdominal and, and intra-pelvic pressure. So we ended up giving her some you know, exercises that would control her thorax, her up. Uh, you know, it's tricep, I call them skull crushers, uh, on your back doing some reverse flies. We did a, some easy uh, targeted controlled rotation because runners need to rotate. That's a big thing. So we, we, I progressed her program and she got better and her leaking went away. So it's, when, you have, when you leak, or when you have any form of incontinence, whether it's you know, doing weightlifting in a gym, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's coming from within the pelvis. It could be, for sure. But with her, it wasn't. I didn't treat her pelvic girdle. So if you're experiencing this and you're doing some traditional exercises for the pelvis and you're not getting better, it could be that there is another source to your problem. And with her, it was. It was, it was actually in her thorax. I hope this helps. Bye.